Hi everybody, it's Julie. I have a nether embellishment um, for our Little Golden Book. This is for the Little Golden Book Challenge. It's our August challenge here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. And today we are going to be making our triangle double tuck with inserts triangle double tuck with inserts so it is uh two triangles so you get a double tuck and i'm going to try and do something a little bit different um, this time and i've pulled out some items here starting with this uh six by six piece of paper um our Little Golden Book is basically about six inches across. So I am going to cut an inch and a half, inch and a half off of this. And the reason I've chosen an inch and a half is because with my um, tag punch, I can uh, do a pretty tag top for an inch and a half. So I'm going to the five or four and a half inch, and that's going to give me two little tags that I'll be able to do. So I have that. And then for my larger one, I think I'm going to use this piece from my mom's quilting magazine. So um, Let's go ahead and cut this down, see where we get end up with. Okay. I'm just going to cut it. That would have been a really cool um, large tag right there. <laughs> Background, right? Okay. So what I have is I have this one and I have this one. So what I'm thinking for this one to start off with is to pull this down and have it go almost, almost to the edge. Okay. So I do still have that. Do you see that brown edge on there? Okay. And that's going to give me a flip up and a place for some journaling space and that is going to be one of my triangles okay and then for my other triangle i'm going to go ahead and i want to fold along right above this line okay so let's see might be easier to fold it like this huh to get a better but what I was thinking is that by having this um, fold here that will make this stronger okay and then I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this piece down don't need the extra hoopty doopy there so how is everybody today are you having a good week I am making this video on Tuesday and so that I can get to work on that wedding um oh look at what I did oh no there that's the way it goes okay I kind of like the white part here also okay so um so there's my two triangles okay so this is the base i've used a book page and i have used some scrapbook paper which um is not really on our list we we found out <laughs> we can use scraps of paper or trash um, but i had moved that um scrapbook paper okay so i do know that i want this to stay down so let's go ahead and grab our shiny paper uh, glue, which is our the green, the multi XL. It's a permanent glue, and I've been really happy for this. Except, just don't get it on your hands. It's uh, 
it's a mess or not a mess when it gets on it just feels so weird when it gets on your hand okay I like that very much I'm gonna go with with that right there and you guys I left a little opening here so we could put something in there um okay so I had some of the old paper here And I thought that we could go ahead and put some of that inside. Okay, we got two pieces, so we only need one. Let's go ahead and We're gonna go with that. Whatever, whatever that ends up, that's what we're gonna put inside here. Okay. Okay, so we can go ahead and add that inside. Okay, it's gonna go like that, so let's put it in this direction. Maybe with the straight on this edge. Okay. We have this glue out, so let's just use this. Although this is the more expensive one of the the two, but it it does it does work. It even works on playing cards. So I'm calling that my shiny surface glue. Okay, go ahead and put that down. So that gives us some old paper. So we've used book page or magazine and um, we've used some old paper. Okay. And that is good. So let's go ahead. We're going to put glue here because we are use, putting this onto shiny paper. And you'll notice that I have some of that green color that I've been liking using in my, my journals. Okay, so that will go. This will flip up and give us some journaling space. We have a spot here. Let's even this up with that line. Okay. Okay, so we have a place here that we'll be able to put an insert and a place here that we'll be able to put an insert. Okay. Let's make sure that, yeah, this has been the one thing that I'm not excited about. It does not clean up nearly as nice as the other Tombow glue. Um, okay. Okay, but there's my triangle. Now I need to add some couple of things. I have this adorable monkey, monkey set of stickers that were in my stash. And so I think we'll we'll make this a monkey page. Okay, so there's that. And I like this one where he's he's kind of sitting there and he's like, hey. Hey. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna put him there. And I think we'll add some of this over to this side, okay? This is the rub-on I've been using in this journal. Okay, we'll go all the way up to the, the top. I'm gonna do three of these. So you just pull it off, put it where you want it, 
And this is from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the... Sometimes you can see it change color and then you'll know that it's been adhered. And sometimes you can just push it down with your with your fingers and it works just fine. Okay? But we do know that you want to cut the piece out that you want to use so that we don't have another I called it the flamingo fiasco. Okay, I love the black. So we've used some of the green. We've used some of the black. Those are two of the things I've been using to keep things cohesive. And we'll put those right there. Okay, so we have a sticker. And the ribbon is um, in the sticker category also. We have our book page. And we have old paper. And you can see it has split here which is really a bummer. Okay. Um, okay, so we need to add something else to our page here. And we have done a little bit of Sally lace on a couple of other things. So why don't we do that? We'll add some Sally lace. And let's put our lid on goes in our spam can <laughs> ah, one of the I'm gonna have I'm gonna have time I um, to get that taken care of but I am going to be organizing in October um, organizing my craft room if you want to join me for that uh, let me know in the comments of this video after the premiere is over I'm actually looking for some of our community members to join me in that. And um, we will have a challenge that month also. And um, I'm, I, so that, that's your hint. There will be a challenge and we will be doing organizing, but there will be a journal challenge also. Okay. So don't, don't worry, especially those that just found the challenge here and would are worried that they're, they just found it and it's, no, it's not going away. I'm going to do something along those lines. That's, that's about the hint that you're going to get. But I have got to, um... I've got to do something about this room. And <clears throat> the weddings will all be over. The vacations will all be over for now. So there we go. I'm going to put that on there. Okay. We have lace, book page, stickers, old paper. Okay, I love it. That is my triangle double tuck base. Okay, and now we need inserts. So, um, okay. So I pulled out a couple of fun things. I have this postcard like stationery that um, came in Happy Mail from Don Marie. Don Marie. And so I think that would be a fun one. Now I'm going to leave it um, thin, even though it's um, thin paper. And I'm going to start with my, I'm just going to add some washi because I have it. And we'll, we'll add it before it, um, before it gets. Okay, so there's that. So I'm thinking we can go ahead and, whoa, we didn't want to break our tree. We'll put it back together. <laughs> We're going to break our tree and put it back together. Okay, so let's go out on a limb here. 
and let's see here. I still haven't even made it to the warehouse to get <laughs> to get the things I was going to use which is I think pretty funny okay so we have him that he could be hanging like this or he can hang from one I think we'll use him okay so we're going to be really careful because we don't want to rip him okay and what if we hang him like that okay I like that. Okay. Um, let's see. We have some numbers here on this that I think would be perfectly perfect to add. Numbers. It has numbers and letters. Oh. Or this could be old paper because this is from a really old book. Okay. And we'll just flip that around not waste any of it okay so sticker and old paper so far um, let's see we can go with book page there make a tab out of it kind of like a smaller one fold it over Okay, so we're going to add that right on there. I like this little card. It's, um, it won't be adding bulk to the, to what we're doing here, which I think is important. Okay. We're going to add our staples. Stickers, book page, numbers, or old paper, and hmm. <laughs> what if we go ahead and we continue our way down with our with our old paper here giving us some writing space I think this will be cool on here okay. 
for our journaling space on our insert. Okay, and then I do have some things that I have made up that, yeah. are not for another embellishment to help speed the next one along. Okay, that's gonna help give some, make this a little more substantial. There's that. So I'm gonna come over here and I have a couple of these. Okay. So we have book page number stamp this is book page also and then we have on this one there's a stencil back there and a stamp and napkin sticker book page so if i just do something to the back of that we can do that as our um our little guy okay and like again I I did that as a um, when I was watching a premiere or it might have been the day that I just needed to do something that wasn't um, didn't have rules I think is what I said I need I need to do something that doesn't have rules so and I was using the scraps off my desk which is always a good thing for me um, I like to use up all my pieces that are hanging around so okay so I've been um, I just have a small hole in this glue and it closes up quickly sometimes. So as long as you can hear air coming out. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this piece onto the book page and then I'll rip it and okay, so this was a scrap piece of book page. Or lined paper, old paper. Do I have, yeah, there's, I don't know if this will work on this one because this paper is so old. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's straighten that out. Okay. didn't want to cut it so okay but there we'll have that on the back and this can go in here there is some inking on here too I mean there's a lot going on that on there but that gives us two um, two inserts and remember there is a spot over here that we could put like a triangle something or other so now what if we take a piece of this amazing amazing 
It's the annuity. Oh, you know what? No, I was going to say we could use that. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and line that up fold this over and that will tell me where to cut this okay so you have to do two inserts but I'm um, I'm going to go ahead and add this third one just because it's like really cool that there's a spot here that we left and we can do a triangle journaling space because we can. Okay, so that will go right in there. Okay, but we need to have a something on it so if it gets stuck in there um, we can get it out um, there's the cuff from the from the fabric this piece okay so you'd be able to write there that's cool this one doesn't need its four things because we've already made things that have the four items on them I think that I made that too big so let's go with we're just making a tab so that hopefully we would lose this in the it's got numbers and it's gonna have fabric choose the side that's frayed okay I was having trouble getting it to stay where so that I could figure out where to staple it. I'm just going to staple it. Okay. So we have numbers. Well, actually we have trash, right? Okay, so this can go in here. can have it come and stick out which is kind of cool or it can go all the way in okay I think that's kind of fun and, and different so and then we have this here it kind of is wanting something to hold it down I think we can do this guy. Staple works good as a holder downer for. Okay, I'm very, very, very happy with those. Let's uh, see what we did here. So, I am enjoying this challenge. Having all these things to work with has been a lot of fun. So, um, so we have our insert with our sticker, 
our book page, our old paper, actually numbers and old paper. For our other insert, what we have is I had taken the flinch card, so one of the flinch cards, and I stamped on, or I stenciled on it, and I stamped the elephants on there. Then I added the piece of the napkin to get my green, added this sticker from that sticker sheet we've been using up, and added it onto a book page. Then to finish it out, I added it onto some of the old paper to give us a, um, a little journaling card. And that can go right in there. And you can tuck it out and see the, see the elephant. We've got a monkey here. Then we can flip this up. So for our triangle double tuck base so those are our two inserts we have the extra insert over here also for our double tuck base we have a book page from a quilting magazine and we've made our triangle and it does have a little bit of an edge here that makes it easier to put things in and out we have a sticker and a rub-on, those count as the same thing. A sticker and a rub-on are on the same, same level. We have some lace here, and then we added old paper on the inside there. Now we've just added this little closure. That was from the playing card. Okay, so I had um, punched a circle out of the playing card, and we've added that there. So this is ready to go into the journal once I get it made, and I love it. So this is our letter T, our triangle double tuck with inserts. It says inserts, so you need to have at least two when there's an S on insert. And we have three. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I think it was a lot of fun. Don't forget, if you want to join in on the mini challenge and the challenge that was posted on Monday, the event is in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie um, Facebook group. And you'll find it pinned to Featured, so you can find it pretty easily. And then go ahead, do the... Do the challenge, watch the video for the details, do the challenge, and then go ahead and post what you made, and we will be crowning a jewel for from this week's um, entries, okay? So we will be crowning a jewel and that will be exciting. So over here, you guys, we've got these two pieces. We've got some scraps laying here on the desk. I've got that. I'm just grabbing the punch, if I can find, well, whichever one comes out first, that's the one we're gonna use. So we're gonna use this one. It's from Hobby Lobby, and it does have a one and a half inch um, spot, okay? And that's what we get from the one and a half inch. So we're gonna go ahead and get both of those ready. Okay, so that gives us two of those. And we'll put this back in a minute. Okay, and then we've got some scraps here on the desk. So let's go ahead, we're gonna do this one, okay? And I'm going to add the, the book page. I'm going to rip it because it's a little bit bigger than what... Oh, that's shiny. Shiny, shiny paper. Oh my gosh, I just looked at the clock and I was like, Oh no, I've got to get this video up. No, I don't. I'm... I'm 
a couple days ahead. I'm trying to get stuff ahead so I can just start working on the wedding and work straight through and get it done. And so, so I have, that's how I, I like to do things. That's like, okay, I've got to get this all be ahead on uh, the one thing, which this week is the videos and the garden. So I worked in the garden yesterday and got, um, I had a couple weeds that I was letting grow so that I could see what they were because you can actually use a lot of weeds for things. And um, so I wanted to see if they were they were useful they were not um but then i needed to get them out before they went to seed and so so we did that yesterday okay so i have this i'm gonna put that on here so just adding the items that were left from what we did today and then I had just found the box that had that in it and then let's see yeah I think we can put her on there I say it to her because there's a flower in in its hair so my guess it's a her, right? Okay. And I think their tails can go in all different directions, right? So I'm going to bend it over and bring it in so that it doesn't get lost. <laughs> I hope I hope that didn't hurt little one there. <laughs> okay, then I had one piece of the washi left. And I'm going to put that down here. Okay. So, no scrap goes to waste, right? Well, some will, but for the most part, we can use all the pieces. I love that. I think I'm going to add a piece of the zebra fabric to the top. Instead of the yarn. We'll add some zebra fabric to the top and we'll fold it over and use our stapler that is less bulk than tying it in a knot. Okay. Okay. There we go. We, we did go ahead and we made another little guy there. And then this one, I think we'll just go ahead and <laughs> we don't want to break anybody. Get them all undone here. Okay. If we put him his tail in also. Okay. Arm, arm, tail. Okay. Arm, arm, tail. And then he is hanging from branch 
Now the cool thing about this is uh, this is extra. I don't have to have the four items. So what do you think? Should this one be eating the banana? Yeah. Let's put them on there. Okay. So... Let me just add this. I think we did pretty good on using using up pieces. Let's go ahead and add this. It is shiny, so we'll use our shiny shiny paper glue. Okay. Oops. Add that down to the bottom and we'll add a piece of this okay and then we'll cut this and we'll cut that. How cool is that? Huh? Huh? And I think we'll add this piece up here just to... Okay, I love it. We got those done. Um, let's see. Another piece of zebra. This one's a bit thicker. Turn that that way. There we go. As our tag topper, we've got some zebra fabric from the shirt. <laughs> and we got two extra tags made. Dun, 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 with our monkeys. And we've used all the monkeys off of this sheet. All we have is, you know what, let's go ahead and we can add this. I just don't know about the bananas. Let me know what you think. Should we add bananas? I'll have it right here and we can decide. Okay, that goes under there. I am very happy with what we got. So we've got a couple of extra tags. Um, this one has fabric. It has a book page. It has a sticker. And it has some old paper. So this one could actually count as an insert. We can save that. This one has book page, a sticker, fabric. It might need a little one other thing on it. And it could count as, um, as an insert. So I'm going to put them in. And if I need an insert for something, these can count. So there you go, and we got all those done. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the, the paper for the garden um, box. So yeah, this is what we've got. We've got our triple tuck. We've got um, three inserts for the triple tuck and two extra inserts from our scraps, all made and ready. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, don't forget to check out the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. We have lots of digitals there. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye-bye.